Now, I'm not sure if it's the fact that Rampage is typically taped like it was for this week. I don't know what it is. But I'm sorry. This week's show was Cheeks. This week's show was not so much bad as it was just boring as fuck and kind of stupid. And not a good combination, especially on a Friday night when you're asking people to watch at 10 Eastern to 11 Eastern. Just not a good combination. I mean, if I was looking at a company like AEW, I'd say, okay, you've got two hours of prime time on Wednesday night, and you did a great job with what you've had the past couple of weeks. They sh- in my opinion, they certainly have. You got to make sure that you maximize on this time that you have on Friday night, too. It's not the best time slot in the world, but it's still technically prime time. It's a chance for you to demonstrate what your product's about, showcase your talent, showcase your style, showcase everything. And when you look at this show, like, what in the hell are you showcasing? I mean, this is really bad. And from what I saw, the fast national viewership numbers were a reflection of how bad this show was this week. Because it was. Like, the opening tag match is Orange Cassidy and Wheeler Yuta versus Adam Cole and Bobby Fish. Okay, I understand, like, Adam Cole was a pretty big acquisition recently. I understand he and Bobby Fish have history. So I could understand, like, hey, featuring them in this type of match makes sense. But Orange Cassidy and Wheeler Yuta, like, stop trying to make Wheeler Yuta a thing. He's not for AEW, and he doesn't need to be. You already have enough goddamn people on your roster. Just stop it. Stop trying to have Orange Cassidy work the same type of matches as everybody else from a standpoint of, like, doing so many matches. He's best as a character, best in small doses. Don't overexpose him. Because what you can't deny is, as a character, what you can't deny as in small doses, that Orange Cassidy can actually absolutely be a viewership draw for AEW. The YouTube numbers on their channel clearly indicate that. Some of the television viewership numbers clearly indicate that. But this match was too long and like, you often only have one chance to make that first impression or a good impression here. And if fans are tuning into this and determining whether they want to watch the rest of the hour, like, I don't know that this match is going to get it fucking done. It doesn't have star power. It's not appealing to a broader audience. And frankly, if you look at some of the viewership numbers for Rampage, it's not even appealing to half of the fucking regular Dynamite viewers they have. So clearly it's not going very well. So stop it. And then you've got Tony Nese challenging Sammy Guevara. And apparently that's what you can do now. There's nothing to do with the ranking system that matter until they're actually supposed to matter and then they totally don't fucking matter. So you could just have people randomly show up and say, I'm a nobody who hasn't done shit, but I'm going to challenge you to a TNT title match. And Sammy Guevara's like, a Spanish god, okay, you got it. Like, what the fuck? Why do you think Tony Nese is worthy of this type of spot? Frankly, why are you even bothering with a Tony Nese at all? Like, when you bring in somebody, let's say, like a Miro, you get it. And you say, okay, this is a guy that could be something important for AEW. When you see a CM Punk, you're like, yes, I get that. You see an Adam Cole, you're like, yes, I get that. You see Brian Danielson, you say, that's my next president. And you say, yes, I certainly see that. But what you see are guys that bring a different dynamic, something unique to the table, something different to the table. Those are the types of people, guys, gals, doesn't matter, that you should be going after and pursuing and making a part of your fold. Tony Nese is none of those fucking things. He's a jag, just another guy. And you have lots of jags already on your roster. So why are you bringing this guy in, one and two? Why are you giving him TV time? To face off against your TNT champion, one of your four marble pillars of AEW and Sammy Guevara. It's stupid. It's like it's stupid how they switched away from the Jurassic Express to just have to put the belts on the fucking Lucha Brothers. And their title reign has been stupid. Oh, and now FTR gives a shit that the illegal man got pinned at the pay-per-view. It's nice that you give a damn now. 
Oh, and they're challenging the Lucha Brothers to a two out of three falls match. You know, I understand that these two teams could go out and have some really good matches. Although, they fucked up the finish at full gear. That was stupid. They should have went home with the Eddie tribute. They didn't. They went another five minutes and they did a dumbass match finish that was poorly executed. looked like shit. But here again, if you never see the Lucha Brothers outside of them wrestling and wrestling alone, at some point in time, the fans start to give less of a shit. Even the hardcore fans. Like, even those that are the match and move Meltzer marks at some point in time need a little bit more of a reason to give a fuck. So, no, it's a stupid, 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 stupid. Why would you care? Seriously, why would you care? And then we get to this Black Friday deal match. Once again, showing that the rankings mean nothing. Rio versus Dr. Britt Baker, and if Rio wins... She gets a future shot at the AEW Women's Champion because, of course, we've still got to try to make Rio a fucking thing. And I know you have a lot of the hardcore nerds and the Japanese wrestling fans that love Rio. Why? Why? There's nothing intense about her. There's nothing serious looking about her. She looks like a cosplay goddamn joke. And she wrestles like one, too. Almost all of her moves look like they have absolutely no impact. You can't take them seriously. And yet here she is yet again pinning Dr. Britt fucking Baker. You've been there. You've had this opportunity. Move the fuck on to something else. You're not at a point in time where you need to circle back to Rio in the title picture is my larger point. And yet they persist. Here we fucking go. Oh, it's because they want to have a TBS women's title. No, fuck that. That whole concept is stupid. You're supposed to be counterculture to WWE. Why in the fuck would you want to put more belts that you don't know how to feature just like WWE? That's stupid. Just like trying to make Rio still a thing is stupid. Just like having her pin the champion in order to get the title match is stupid. Unbelievable. So many other things you could do. This is not it. This is not the jam. And speaking of that, the main event. I'm sorry, but stop trying to make Danny Garcia a fucking thing. He's not. He's a jag. Just another guy that you've got so many other of on the damn roster. And why in the hell would people really care about Eddie Kingston facing off against him? I mean, really? And to which you were going to probably sit there and say with your flaming keyboard fingers of fire that you do. But the reality is the viewership numbers clearly indicate they don't. You're barely getting half of the Dynamite audience to watch Rampage. Why? Because they view this as a fuck off show with matches that they don't really give a shit about. Especially critical when you're talking about a fan base that primarily and almost solely exclusively cares about the in-ring action. When you've driven almost 50% of them away from Wednesday night to Friday night every week because they don't give a fuck about the random spot fest matches you have, you have a problem. Oh, and then at the end of the match after Eddie Kingston wins and he's getting beat down, here comes fucking doughboy Chris Jericho to save the fucking day. Oh, I can't wait to see where that takes you to. Hey, what do you look at with this Rampage show. We're going to hold it up to a similar standard as, let's say, a SmackDown. Like, SmackDown sucked this week. They overthought it, did stupid crap, and there's nothing that you feel like if you didn't watch it, you would have missed. And this is clearly the same thing here. You have an hour. Consistently, you should look at Rampage as being the better show than Dynamite because you have half the time. You can condense things. You can really pick and choose, like you can really hone in on what you want to do and what you want to get across. And instead you just put out this bullshit. And then you wonder why people aren't freaking watching. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, who are you supposed to give a fuck about here? What are you supposed to give a fuck about here? Rio wins! Oh my god, let's party like it's 2019 again! The tag champions, who you never see, you never give a shit about, they only ever show up to wrestle. You're supposed to give a fuck about them. 
got random ass jobbers that have done nothing that are coming and challenging your TNT champion and you're supposed to care about that. You got Orange Cassidy in the damn tag match that goes way too damn long and just trying to make Daniel Garcia a thing, trying to make Rio a thing again, trying to make Tony Nese a thing, trying to make Wheeler Yuta a thing. Like, no! There's way too much goddamn scope creep. They're trying to bring everybody in and do something with everybody and this is the type of shit that needs to stop. You have to pick and choose your spots and identify the people that you really want to get behind and do everything you can. To make them stars. Like you could have had MJF or CM Punk make an appearance here. But it probably doesn't work as well in front of the crowds that you're taping this show. You know what? If you're such a big time company and you believe in yourself so goddamn much. Then Tony Khan, you coward. Run this shit live every week. If you need to change the date and time slot, so be it. Run it live. Because I can tell you this tape shit ain't fucking cutting it. Because this show was crap this week. Just boring as fuck. Almost put me to damn sleep. 